Hello, hi, welcome back to my channel. Nenu me Pratyusha. If you have seen my previous video, I explained about the role of pharmacy technician trainee and how to apply for this position in CVS Pharmacy. Now I want to explain you about the certification exam, which is nothing but PTCB, Pharmacy Technician Certification Board exam. And I got uh, you know lot of questions from Instagram story, and I will try to explain each and every question in detail. Let's get into the questions. Number one, can any graduate attempt the exam? Yes, absolutely. Any graduate can attempt this, but you should work as a pharmacy technician or you should do the college for the credits. Without these two, you are not eligible to take the certification. So you should have either one of these. One more thing, guys, we get the training license for two years. After two years, our license expires and we lose the job if you don't take the certification exam before that. So I would say after you join the job, take one and a half years you know to get the good exposure about the brand names drug names and simple calculations so that it would be easy for you to take this test because you have only three attempts to take this uh, certification if you fail the first one you have the second one but there is a couple of weeks gap you know like you have to wait two more weeks to take this test if you fail the second attempt you have the third attempt but you have to wait like six months to take this test if you fail this one too i don't know what happens so i would say better wait like one and a half years so that it would be easy for you uh, to learn the things what's happening around you also you need like 500 hours and there are some modules you have to finish those are mandatory to get into this um, certification next question what to study for the exam i mean the books and subject okay for this you know like what books to study and what websites to look out everything i will explain at the end i mean i will show you in the desktop like what to study where to study everything so guys uh, bear with me let me finish these questions next question are you attending college for ptcb exam no i didn't attend any college for this one because it costs a lot you know to study in college so i took the route like work as a pharmacy technician trainee so we can do either one of these to get the eligibility so i took this route and i finished my certification next question how long it took you to practice the ptcb to be frank it took me like 40 days yes exactly 40 days and I studied so hard and smart. <laughs> That's how I finished it. So if I did it, you can do it, guys. Next question. Do pay vary from trainee to tech in hospital? Of course, Andy, the pay also varies. You know, now I'm getting like a 16.64 as a trainee. If I get a job in the hospital, then I would say like $20 something per hour. I'm not sure, but it depends. It also depends on your experience. If you work like that, you know, for years, the... Uh, pay also increases year by year so that's how it works next question after how many months we need to clear the exam like i said we get the trainee license for two years so you have two years to take the certification test next question how long were you in training before taking the test exactly two years because <laughs> my license expired now i'm waiting for my certification so that i can apply the license again so that's what i'm telling don't wait till the end okay miku job one and a half years ki take the test so that you don't have to, you know, uh, license expire in this. So mali, you have to wait for the certification and apply the license. Don't do this. Okay. Don't need just not Okay. Better you finish before two years so that it would be easy to continue in the job without any breaks. Next question. Difference between pharmacist and pharmacy technician. There is a lot of difference. And the pharmacist is like our manager where we all work under her so you know and also to become a pharmacist we have to do the college for four years and do the internship uh, it's a lot of work so you cannot differentiate them because uh, it's totally different responsibilities after ptcb like i said you can join in the hospital pharmacies there we have different responsibilities which i don't know yet if i get a job in the hospital i will share you the experience how it would be in the hospital pharmacy but as of now in the pharmacies you know like cvs or walgreens we have the same responsibilities same jobs so it's not much difference next question do we need to complete ptcb test before training certification expires yes that's what i'm telling you have to complete the certification exam before the trainee license expires next question without science background can we work in pharmacy yes of course without science background you can work as a pharmacy technician trainee but to get the certification you have to work for the pharmacy job or the college so just keep these two in mind what will be the next career growth options that i don't know and i, I once i get my certification then i have to apply for the license then 
I can, you know, apply for the hospitals and see how it works in the hospital so that I can answer you more questions. Now, I, I know a little bit which I am not sure because the roles and responsibilities are totally different in the hospital pharmacies. Next question, how much did you pay for the PTCB test? To be frank, I didn't pay anything for the test because my pharmacy, CVS, they sponsored me the test for the first time. So, I didn't pay a penny for the exam. Next question. Did you enroll in any course outside or prepared by yourself for this exam? I prepared by myself and I didn't take any classes. I didn't, you know, go to college, nothing. I prepared myself and I will show you what I prepared and how I prepared everything. Next question. Do we need to be a ESA resident to write this exam? No, you don't have to be, Andy, but you should have EAD, Employment Authorization Document, to work legally in the United States. So guys, that's it. And a uh, question is PTCB eligibility. Like I said, you have a job in the pharmacy. You don't have a college. You don't have a eligibility for this exam. So keep it in mind. You should do either one of these to get the eligibility. And one more thing. You should do either one of these to get the eligibility. And one more thing. I have a trainee license for 2 years. So, I have a certification exam for 2 years. I have a license for 2 years. So, if you have a job, you have to wait for 1 and a half years. So, you have to wait for the exam. So, that you know, you have to wait for the drugs names, generic brand names, and you have to wait for the simple calculations. You have to wait for the work experience. You have to wait for the experience. You know, like what you are working with. So, you have to wait for 1 and a half years and take the test. You have to wait for the exam. You have to wait for the exam. फुल टाइम इल्ले वाला का ऑप्शन उन्हें फुल टाइम दिस कोण्डी लेते पार्ट टाइम है ना ओके बट यू नो चादवन डी फर्स्ट नीचे चादवन डंट इजी का एग्जाम पास आउट हूँ मो ओके गाइस आई थिंक आई आंसर्ड ऑल द क्वेश्चंस नाउ आई विल शो यू हाउ टू अप्लाई फॉर दिस एग्जाम एंड व्हाट बुक्स टू the app that I practiced for my certification was PTCB. Go to App Store and type PTCB and you see that one. Download it and you have to create your own account. And these are the classifications you get in the final exam. So it has uh, practice tests and also uh, there is a final test. I pretty much like this app because I don't say you get everything from this, but you get the similar questions and you have to pay like $15 per month. It's useful actually. So guys, just give it a try if you are serious about taking this test. It will give you the explanation when you uh, put the wrong answer or right answer, it doesn't matter. I took these practice tests every day at night before sleeping so that you know morning I study and uh, night times I took these tests. Now I will show you where to apply for the certification test. First go to ptcb.org link, just enter. Then you see the window like this. Here you have to give, you have to create your account. I already have an account so I just go login. Okay, this is what you see when you log in with your credentials. I already have an account. Here says, hello, Lady Pratisha. Then you see here, you have like purchased the pre-PTCE, access your PTCE practice bank. Okay, if you click here, see this is the bank, practice bank. This is study deck. You have drug facts, common pharmacy terminology, laws and regulations, sick codes and conversions. See what is PCA? If you click here, it will show you the answer, patient control anesthesia. Go to the next, what is IVPB? Intravenous piggyback. So intravenous piggyback. So that's how you learn things in study deck. See the drug facts here. It has 223. It has the flashcards of the drugs out of 223. What is nitroglycerin sublingual? You know, brand name, nitrostat sublingual, and drug class is vasodilator. And what is it used for? And what forms we get? And what schedule is it? Is it hazardous or narrow therapeutic index? Pregnancy warning, normal adult dose, common adverse reaction, contraindication, boxed warning, maybe confused with. If you go to the study questions, there you can take the test. So, see, these are the practice tests. They have everything on medication, federal requirements, patient safety, and order entry. So, order entry, you have a problems, calculation things. Purchase the pre PTC. This one, we have, okay, we have to pay like... See, this one is $30. You have to pay $30 for this one. I recommend you to take this exam before the test. Take it twice. Take it in the middle and also before uh, one day of your test. It's so useful. You know, the pattern is same. You get like 40% questions from drugs. You know, generic brand names, classification, therapeutic equivalents, and all these questions, drug stability, and the narrow therapeutic indications. And next, 12.5% questions on federal laws. Okay, these ask like... Uh, federal requirements, DEA, FDA, and uh, you know, there are a lot of uh, requirements during this one. So guys, focus on this.
next 26.25 percent on patient safety and quality assurance they ask about you know some kind of scenarios and also uh, what are high alert risk medications and look alike sound alike medications event reporting procedures and uh, the last one they have 21.25 percent about order entry and processing here comes the calculations like you know uh, farm loss calculation ratios proportions allegations uh, seek codes lot numbers expiration dates these that and everything see these total combines 100 percent so you have to focus on this so these are eligibility requirements if you still have questions about the requirements i mean like what to do and how to do so here you go you have two pathways ptcb recognized education or training program or completion within 60 days of application submission path to equivalent work experience as a pharmacy technician minimum 500 hours this alternate path will serve experienced pharmacy technicians who are not in a position to attend a ptcb recognized education or training program if you cannot afford for this one you can work as a pharmacy technician training so my google law matrix dot com slash educational gara matrix dot com slash academy slash ptcb practice test entry one day which in the other practice test on study start test it look a page open out of this start and go to day so make it a lot of questions should be so the matlow so it would have a practice test and the monkey ఇది కూడా మంచిగా ఉంటుంది ఇలా మనకు ఒక పేపరే వాడు ప్రాక్టీస్ టెస్ట్ ఫ్రీగా ఇస్తాడు ఇంకా మోర్ దాన్ వన్ చేయాలి అనుకున్నప్పుడు మనం పర్చేస్ చేయాలి ఈ పేజ్లో జస్ట్ లైక్ యూనో పీటీసీబీలో మనం ఎట్లయితే ప్రాక్టీస్ టెస్ట్ పేపర్స్ కొంటామో సో ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ సేమ్ అండి కాకపోతే పీటీసీబీ త్రూ మనం ఎగ్జామ్ తీసుకుంటున్నాం కాబట్టి పీటీసీబీ నుంచి ప్రాక్టీస్ టెస్ట్ పేపర్స్ తీసుకుంటే నాకు తెలిసి అది చాలా యూస్ఫుల్ బికాస్ యునో ద ప్యాటర్న్ అండ్ ద క్వశ్చన్స్ సమ్ టైమ్స్ దే టచ్ అప్ వుడ్ బి సేమ్ కాబట్టి ఐ వుడ్ ప్రిఫర్ పీటీసీబీ టెస్ట్ పేపర్స్ కంపేర్ టు ద థింగ్స్ హియర్ లైక్ మొమెట్రిక్స్ ఆర్ దేర్ ఆర్ సమ్ ప్రాక్టీస్ క్విజెస్ అంటే మనకు ప్రాక్టీస్ అవ్వడం కోసం మనం తీసుకోవచ్చు బట్ యూనో అట్ ద ఎండ్ ఆఫ్ ద డే అండ్ ఐ మీన్ లైక్ బిఫోర్ ఎగ్జామ్ I would prefer taking uh, PTCB practice test papers. And uh, this one, ptcbtestprep.com. I studied all these guys, you know, at the end. I just went through for the practice tests. This one is uh, ptcbpracticetestonline.com. There is this uh, thing in YouTube, Registered Nurse Orion uh, with Nurse Sara. Um, just follow her for the calculations. She explained very well. Yeah, especially for the IV, uh, IV fluids. Yeah, so follow her for that, for IV drip factors. Yeah, so I did her, uh, I did follow her on YouTube. And, you know, these are all, you know, dosage and calculations quiz. IV, influ IV infusion fluid. I studied all these, but I didn't get any questions regarding this. So on YouTube, yeah, this is Amanda Pharma D. Just follow her. She explained very good. You know, she explained top 200 drugs. If you go to her page, pharmacologic drug, therapeutic classifications, drug stability, high alert, high risk, common drug, calculations, basic math skills. She explained very good. You know, these are very basics for the starters like me. I started with this. I started with her classes and it was very good. So follow these if you are, you know, starters like me. And this is one website, tests.com. Here also you can uh, take the test. It's the same thing. And uh, this one is a PTCB practice test. It has like, you know, practice test and drug quizzes, quizzes, resources. And see, like I said, it costs $130. And you have 90 multiple questions, 110 minutes to answer. This is the book I studied for my certification. It's uh, American Pharmacist Association, APHA. Yes. And they have new edition now. It has all contents like, you know, pharmacy laws, information, and terminology, calculations. I followed this book only for the calculations. And at the end, you have this glossary, which is very important. And they, you know, uh, divided according to the alphabet form. And they ask you this type, you know, the moment of the drug from the dosage formulation into the blood. And you have four options. So you have to pick this one absorption. So it's pretty much like this. So it's better if you go through this uh, glossary for once or twice. Yeah. And you do have answer key on the back side. Drugs. So this is it, the book. And you don't have to study every chapter in this one. And this is the material I prepared to study. And these three are very important questions. So they definitely ask one question from these three. And these are, you know, expansions of the federal law and regulation. Classified these into like, you know, part one. Uh, these, this is from Amanda page. 
I write down everything and you know, I studied this every day. Even I studied them while sleeping. I literally memorized all these drugs. And these are DES schedules, two, three, four, five, and their explanations and what are the medications that come under these. And this is also important. They will ask one question from these. These are all, you know, federal options. These are federal requirements. And they ask one question under this, USP 795, 797, 800. I got question under this one, USP 800. And they ask OBRA, all these ones. Yeah, they definitely ask questions on uh, federal laws. So something like this, you know, common drug terminology, like I showed glossary regulations. They will ask one question on HIPAA and they will ask uh, these books, orange book. I got question on red book, drug pricing data. And uh, Medicaid four parts. This is very important question. On DEA, we get one question from DEA. Sorry, DEA. And uh, NDC one question. Recalls. I got question on call three, class three. And one question from DEA 222. So these DEA forms. I got one question on. Ta -ta -ta -ta, um, yeah. Report of theft or loss of controlled substance, one question. And the DAW course, I got one question on DAW0. Calculations are very important. You have to remember all these things to do the calculations. So mainly fractions, decimals, and percentages. And one question on allegations. This is a mandatory question. And uh, eye drops, supply, inhaler, nasal, and concentration as a percentage. This is important. I followed this method. The measurements. And children doses. Retail price. These are for businesses. These are six quotes and one question. One or two questions are compulsory from this one. It a flashcards would have prepared just for now. You know, then backside explanation like brand name, drug class, drug use, adverse reaction. Even in you know, ptcb.org, uh, you know, but in Chadale, you know, it's a waste of time and pitching the flashcards. So, in Chadukon, easy to make the flashcards alavato and Prepare just for me. Later, you know, just in a notebook or asking a clue, the classifications for asking are easy. On the in the description, low links could provide just on a day if you want, you know, for that, more metrics and uh, other things. Please check it out. Thank you.